Hello everyone, in this video we are just going to make a call and also we are just going to terminate a call in SIM 900A GSM modem with the help of Arduino Uno microcontroller. Let's get started. So till the previous video we have been testing the sim 900a geosum modem right so we just tested all these basic AT commands in the modem and then we tested these phone book AT commands we learned how you can write a particular phone number to the NVM available in the sim card that is the non volatile memory available in the sim card and also how you can retrieve the phone number stored with the help of these AT commands and then we learned how you can make a call using the sim 900a model with the help of these AT commands and also how to terminate a call with the help of AT commands so this is the AT command required for making or dialing to a particular number and this is the AT command for terminating a call in the GSM modem right so now we are just going to do the same thing but with the help of Arduino Uno microcontroller. Beforehand, we have been doing this with the help of serial monitor software such as Docklight with the help of TTL converter for passing the AT command from our PC to the GSM module. But now we are just going to do the same thing, but instead of the TTL module and the Docklight software, we are just going to write some program onto the Arduino Uno microcontroller serial port for doing the same process. So let us try to understand some basic things and then we will get into the actual action part of programming. Now for sending the AT commands we just understood that we require a serial port for communicating with GSM modem. And other than that, the system that we followed was we just used a Docklight software for passing the AT commands to the TTL converter. We just used a TTL converter for passing the AT commands from our PC USB port to the GSM module. And this TTL converter will be directly connected to the serial port of the GSM module for transferring the transferring and receiving the AT commands through one from the GSM modem. So this was the actual flow that we used for testing the GSM modem with the help of attention commands. So whenever we pass some AT commands this will be the flow and as a result this GSM module right over here will be responding back to the Docklight software. So this will be the flow in case of response from the GSM module. We will receive the response in the same serial monitor software available right over here. So this will be the so this will be a bidirectional communication. So this is the this was the flow. I hope you remember that. And today we are just going to follow the same procedure except that we are not going to use the Docklight software for transferring the attention AT commands to the GSM module. Instead, we are just going to use the Arduino Uno development board or Arduino Uno microcontroller for sending the AT commands through serial port available in the Arduino Uno microcontroller. We don't require the detail module since we are going to connect the serial port of the Arduino Uno to the serial port of the GSM module available right over here. So this is the connection that we are going to make today. So we will be programming the Arduino Uno microcontroller in such a way for passing the required AT commands through the default serial port or through the available serial port in the Arduino Uno microcontroller to the serial port of GSM module. So the GSM module will be responding to the AT commands that is produced in the serial port of the GSM module. So this is the system that we are going to follow. This will be the flow you can see this will be the flow of attention commands from left to right. 
and response will be from JSM module to the Arduino Uno development board. So this is the system that we are going to follow. For testing purpose, we will be using this system and for building some applications, we will be using this system. That is, we will be using a microcontroller in place of any serial monitor software or debugging software for building our own application using the GSM module. And now let us try to understand and pick out some of the attention commands required for initializing the GSM SIM 900A module. So in the standard AT commands available right over here, these two are the basic required commands for initializing the GSM module. So I am just copying these two commands and I am pasting it right over here. And as usual at the end we are just going to provide backslash R backslash N that is the carriage written at the end. Here I am just going to produce a value of ATE0 backslash R backslash N for disabling the echoing of AT commands produced to the JSM module from my Arduino Uno microcontroller. So I don't want the echo of the AT commands whatever I am sending to the JSM module from a serial port in the Arduino Uno development board. So for that purpose I am just using this command for disabling the echoing of AT command and for checking the JSM modem I am just using this AT backslash R backslash N. And these are all the two AT commands required for initializing the JSM modem. And other than that, I am just going to view the call commands required for dialing a number and for terminating a call that is made. So this is the AT command required for dialing a number. I hope you remember this from the previous video. This was the command used for dialing this particular number and this was the command used for terminating the call that has been made. So ATD of phone number followed by carriage return is the AT command for dialing a particular number and ATH of carriage return is the command for terminating a call that has been made from the JSON modem. So now what I am going to do is I am just going to pick these two AT commands. So ATD of phone number so I am just producing the phone number that is the new number that I have bought for testing the JSM module so this AT command will be dialing to this particular number right over here and plus 91 is the aerial local code in if in your case you just want to produce the required STD or IST code as per your locality and for terminating a call, I just want to produce ATH backslash R backslash N. This command is useful for dialing, making a call and this command is useful for terminating the call that has been made. So that's all about the AT commands required. Let us discuss in detail about the system that we are going to build with the help of schematic diagram. You can clearly see this is the Arduino Uno development board and by default we are having a serial port here in this place of digital pin 0 and digital pin 1. You can clearly see it is mentioned as Rx and Tx. 0th pin is Rx and 1st pin is Tx. So we can use this serial port but one difficulty is that this default serial port has already been connected to the TTL module right over here. You can clearly see this is also a This is also a TTL converter and to this TTL converter this serial port has been connected which is used by the serial monitor available in the Arduino IDE. So I hope you remember the serial monitor in the introduction lecture of Arduino Uno. I have explained you what is a serial monitor in Arduino IDE and how you can use the serial monitor for debugging purpose. So most probably we will be using the serial monitor for debugging purpose in the Arduino IDE. So that debug monitor or serial monitor in the Arduino IDE uses the same UART serial port right over here. So if we are using the same UART port for communicating with any device or with GSM module, 
there might be a conflict of data in the serial port because it is utilized by the TTL module right over here and it will be connected to the USB port right over here. So it is also useful for dumping the flash to the microcontroller with the help of boot loader available right over here. We need not go in detail about that but make sure and remember that if we are connecting the same UART port to the GSM module there might be a conflict of data. So just remember that there might be a conflict of data. So instead what we are going to do is we are just going to utilize any one of these pins from digital pin 2 to digital pin 13 as UART configuration pin. So I am just going to use this digital pin 10 as UART RX and this digital pin 11 as UART TX. I am going to configure these two pins with the help of another feature available in Arduino called software serial that we will see later while we are programming for now. Just remember that we are just going to utilize these two pins that is digital pin 10 as RX of the UART communication and digital pin 11 as TX of the UART communication. And using that software serial feature in the Arduino IDE, you can use any of these pins as serial UART pins. Just remember we are just avoiding these two pins because it has been connected to the TTL converter right over here that is CP210X. Now let us move to the schematic section for understanding the schematic. Now before going into the actual programming part of programming the Arduino Uno microcontroller and Arduino IDE, let us discuss detailly about the schematic diagram or the system that we are going to build for making a call using SIM900A module and also for terminating the call using the SIM900A module with the help of the Arduino Uno microcontroller at Mega328. So for that we are just going to discuss about the schematic diagram that we are going to build. So you can clearly see this is the schematic diagram that I am going to build. As I mentioned I am not going to utilize the serial port that is available by default in this Arduino Uno development board that is a digital pin 0 and digital pin 1. Instead I am just going to configure with the help of software serial these two pins as serial UART pins that is digital pin 10 will be configured as UART RX pin and digital pin 11 will be configured as UART TX pin. So you can clearly see the TX pin of the Arduino Uno will be connected to RX of the GSM module and RX pin of the Arduino Uno will be connected to TX pin of the GSM module. So this is a useful thing that is in UART communication you just want to make the vice versa connection between the lines that is RX of one system will be connected to TX of another device and TX of another device will be connected to RX of another device. So this is a useful thing and other than that we are just going to power up the GSM module with the help of external 12 volt 1 amps adapter and the and for the power of the Arduino Uno, I am just going to power the Arduino Uno with the help of USB port right over here from my PC USB port. And other than that, I am just going to use two push buttons in pull up logic so that whenever I press the push button which is connected to digital pin 6 of Arduino Uno, I am just going to dial to a particular number that is the same number right over here. Let us take the same number right over here. I am just going to execute this command whenever I press the push button which is connected to digital pin 6 and I will be executing this command that is ATH for terminating the call whenever I press this push button which is connected to digital pin 7 in pull up manner. So pull up manner means initially the line will be high in these two pins and whenever I press the button I will receive low signal in the particular digital pin. So this is pull up manner right and that's it about the connections. So whenever I press the button which is connected to digital pin 6 the call will be made and whenever I press the button which is, which is connected to digital pin 7 of Arduino Uno the call will be terminated. So this is the system that I am going to build. That is I am just going to build a portable system which is able to dial to a particular number and also for terminating the same call which is dialed from the same particular number. 
So this is the system that I am going to build with the help of Arduino Uno microcontroller and GSM SIM 900A module. Now let us open the Arduino IDE software for programming the Arduino microcontroller for building this system right over here. So I am just opening the Arduino IDE. So this is the Arduino IDE and I hope you have already watched the initial introduction video to this Arduino IDE where I have shown you how you can download this Arduino IDE and also I have given a short introduction about this IDE and what are all the features of this IDE. Just watch that video before watching this video. If you already know about this IDE, you can just continue in this video. So for an overview, I just want to mention that this is the void setup and this one is the void loop. So this void setup is the programming lines which needs to be executed at the beginning of the microcontroller program and this void loop is nothing but the repeatably executable logic which needs to be executed again and again in our lifetime of the program. So those lines which needs to be executed again and again until the microcontroller is stopped must be written inside this void loop and all the initialization segment of the program will be written inside this void setup. That is the port configurations and all the pin configurations will be done right over here in the void setup and the logic will be written inside this void loop of the program. I am just saving this project. Let me just save it somewhere. Call. Now as per our discussion, we know that these two are the initialization commands and these two are the commands required for dialing a number and for terminating the call that has been made. And before that, as I mentioned, we are just going to configure the digital pin 10 and digital pin 11 as serial UART pin using software serial feature of Arduino IDE. So for that, we just want to include a header to this project that is software serial dot h. So this header will be available by default in this Arduino IDE. You can just directly add this. You don't want to download this header. So particularly this header is useful for configuring any digital pin as serial UART pin in your program. So you can configure any of these pins from pin number 2 to pin number 13 as UART pins. But you just want to mention which pin you want it to be UART reception pin and which pin you want to be as a UART transmission pin. So that you want to mention. I will just show you that how you can do that. So coming inside the void setup. So the first and foremost thing that we are going to do is we just want to configure these two pins that is the pin number 10 as serial rx pin and pin number 11 as serial tx pin so let me just note down that i just want the 10 to be rx and 11 to be tx of Arduino. you know so for configuring this in software serial library of Arduino, you know you can call this software serial and you can give whatever name you want in the place of object or function of this and inside the braces you can provide the rx and tx pins so in this place you just want to provide the pin number which needs to be configured as you what rx pin and in this place you can provide the pin that need, that you need to configure as you are tx pin so in my case i just want the digital pin 10 as rx and digital pin 11 as tx so now after this call the digital pin 10 will be configured as software serial reception pin and digital pin 11 will be configured as software serial transmission pin so these two pins combined will be acting as a you are serial port in my program so and you can use this object my serial wherever you want to write to this serial port or wherever you want to configure this serial port 
so you can give whatever name you want here so let me just give here to be sm serial and coming inside the initial configuration part that is the void setup i just want to set the baud rate for this communication so as we discussed the baud rate of the gsm has already been set to be 9600 bits per second so i just want my serial port which is connected to the gsm module to be running at 9600 baud rate so i am just going to configure this serial port baud rate to be 9600 so for that i am just going to use the function serial dot begin sm serial dot begin you just want to produce the baud rate required so now after execution of this line the serial port that is the software serial port sm serial will be configured at a baud rate of 9600 and other than that i just want to as per the circuit i just want to configure digital pin 6 and 7 as input pins so for that i am just going to use the pin mode function i want the 6 to be input and again i am just using the same function i want the 7 to be input this is for calling and this is for terminating call and after the pin configuration and serial port configuration i just want to produce or initialize this gsm with the help of initial at commands available so as i mentioned these two are the initial at commands which is useful for initializing the gsm module actually what we will do is our complete process is just we just want to send the sati command and we want to read the response okay if it is okay we will proceed or else we will just do all the diagnostic configurations required but now i am just going to show you how you can interface the gsm module so i am i am not going to go in deep with that now i am just going to send these two commands using the same sm serial port that is the tx pin digital pin 11 using the same sm serial port so for transmitting that let me just copy this copy these two i want to send these two at commands right so for that what you can do is with the help of same object sm serial you can call another function called sm serial of write and to this function you can pass the string of data that needs to be transmitted over the serial port so now after the execution of this line this at followed by carry as written will be transmitted and after that i am just producing a delay of 500 millisecond and in the same similar fashion i am just going to pass this command for turning of the echoing of characters in the serial terminal port by the gsm module turn off echo gsm and again i'm just producing the final millisecond delay now coming into the logic as i mentioned the logic is very much simple our system is having a very simple logic that is whenever i press the button which is connected to digital pin 6 i must call to a particular number or i must make a call using the gsm sim 900a with the help of the arduino uno program and whenever i press the button which is connected to digital pin 7 i must terminate the call that has been made so this is the simple process and also we just fetched those two at commands required this at command is required for dialing a call and this at command is required for terminating the call and i am going to call to the same number located right over here so i am not going to change anything right over here i am just going to use the same at command available right over here since these two push buttons are configured in pull up logic 
I hope you know what is pull up and pull down logic. I have already made a separate lecture of input devices working explained where I have explained you what is pull up and what is pull down. So in pull up logic, initially when the button is not pressed, the line will be in high state. And whenever I press the button, the line will be in low state. So for reading the push button, I just want to use the if condition and I will be using a function called digital read in order now. Digital read of 6, if I am reading low, that is when the button which is connected to digital pin 6 is pressed, I just want to send the AT command of this one. Let me just copy this. And after that, I am just going to produce a delay of 200. So, this delay also acts as a debones delay for this push button. And after that, if the digital read of 7 is slow, I just want to pass ATH. Right. Okay. Oh, sorry, I just left L right over here. So, here you can clearly see that's all about the logic. It is very simple. Whenever I press the button which is connected to digital pin 6, the AT command of this one will be sent, which will be dialing to that particular number. And whenever the button which is connected to digital pin 7 is pressed, the call that is that is being made will be terminated so this is the process so in two push buttons available one will be making the call and another will be terminating the call that is being made so that's all about the logic that we want to build and other than that if you want to provide these two separately what you can do is you can also do like this software serial of right of black slash r and backslash n if you want to produce the backslash r and backslash n separately you can do it like this or you can also add it to the add it as a concatenation for this string light over here so that is not a problem you can do it in both the ways now i am just building this code i have connected the Arduino uno development board to the pc through usb cable you can see the compilation is successful now i am just uploading a sketch to the Arduino UNO development board. Just click on this button right over here for downloading the sketch to the Arduino UNO. You can see the program has been successfully loaded to the Arduino UNO development board. Now let's build the schematic as per our requirement like this and then we will visualize the output in the hardware. Now you can see this is the Arduino Uno development board and this one is the SIM 900A JSM module with the SIM card inserted in the SIM slot. So now I am just going to make the connection between these two modules. So the terminals that we are going to utilize in this SIM 900A module is this ground TX and RX of UART communications. So I'm just going to connect three jumper wires over here. So regarding the ground of the SIM 900A module, I'm just going to connect it to ground of this Arduino Uno and TX of this UART line of the SIM 900A module will be connected to RX of the Arduino Uno development board and Rx of the SIM 900A module will be connected to Tx of the Arduino Uno development board. So as per our software serial configuration, the Rx pin 
is nothing but the digital pin 10 of Arduino Uno. So I'm just going to connect the TX of the SIM 900A module to the digital pin 10 of Arduino Uno. And as per the software serial communication that we configured, the TX of the software serial port is digital pin 11. So I'm just going to connect the RX of the SIM 900A module with the digital pin 11 of Arduino Uno, which is the TX of Arduino Uno serial port, which we are going to utilize. And regarding the ground terminal, I'm just going to connect it to the ground of the Arduino Uno development board. And that's it. Now I'm just going to power up this Arduino Uno development board with the help of this USB port available right over here. And I'm going to power up this SIM 900A module with the power jack right over here with the help of 12 volt 1 amps adapter. Let's visualize the output in the hardware. You can clearly see this is the push button that I'm going to use in the project, but the push button that you actually have seen in the schematic is having only two terminals right but this push button is having totally four terminals the push button logic and all the functionalities of push button is same but the only difference this push button has is it is having four terminals namely so these two terminals right over here are interconnected and it is internally sorted and it is available for connection in both the ends of the push button and in a similar manner these two terminals of the push button are internally sorted and it is available for connection in the both ends of the push button. So that is the difference. You can use any one of these two terminals. This is actually a separate terminal and this one is the other separate terminal of the push button. So we can use either side of this push button for connection in our circuit. So for that purpose, it is physically available like this. So I'm just going to use this push button only in pull down logic. Here you can see I have already built the basic circuit in breadboard with the pull down resistors for these two push buttons which needs to be connected to the digital pin 6 and 7 of Arduino Uno. So here you can see clearly I have utilized these two terminals of push button and you can see one of the push button that is this one let me just remove all this missing of wires so that you can clearly see what is the circuit built now you can see the blue wire right over here is the terminal which is going to the digital pins of Arduino Uno and here I am having yellow wire which needs to be connected to digital pins of Arduino Uno and this this push button I am just going to connect to digital pin 6 and this push button I am just going to connect to digital pin 7 of Arduino Uno so this blue wire will be going to digital pin 7 of Arduino Uno and this yellow wire will be going to digital pin 6 of Arduino Uno. And to the same two terminals which is contained to the digital pins of Arduino Uno, I have connected the pull up resistors that is 10 kilo ohms resistor is connected from that terminal to the VCC of the circuit. So this orange terminal right over here, I am just going to connect it to 5 volt of Arduino Uno. And this gray terminal, I am just going to connect it to ground of water you know so this whole line right over here which is connected to gray wire is the ground rail and this orange wire connected rail is the positive rail of the breadboard and regarding the other two terminals that is the white terminal in this push button and the brown terminal in this push button is connected to ground of the circuit since we are using the push buttons in pull up logic i have connected the free end of the push buttons to ground of the circuit. So now what happens is as per my explanation in the previous video, whenever I press the push button, I will be receiving zero volt signal in the digital pins of Arduino Uno. And when I release the push button, I will be receiving five volt signal or high signal in the digital pins of the microcontroller. Let us just make the connection between this push buttons and the Arduino Uno development board. So here is the Arduino Uno development board. So as I mentioned, I'm just building the circuit based on the schematic shown to you so no worries you can refer the schematic for the connections or you can physically watch this video for connection so as i mentioned this brown wi gray wire is the ground rail i'm just connecting it to ground of the Arduino you know you can clearly see and this orange wire is the positive rail 
of the breadboard so i'm just connecting this orange wire to the 5 volt of arduino so you can clearly see i'm just making this rail that is the gray wire rail as ground of the circuit and the orange rail as positive rail of the circuit and regarding the ground connection of push buttons i have already made it in the breadboard itself and i'm just going to connect this push button that is this push button yellow wire to the digital pin 6 of Arduino Uno and the second push button I am just connecting it to digital pin 7 of Arduino Uno that's it you can clearly see I have connected yellow wire to a digital pin 6 of Arduino Uno and blue wire to digital pin 7 of Arduino Uno and that's all about the connections as we have already connected the gsm module to the arduino uno development board let's power up this arduino uno using usb cable and let's power up this gsm modem using this 12 volt 1 amps adapter and let's visualize the output in the hardware now you can see as we have completed the schematic circuit building in our breadboard here is the Arduino Uno development board and here we are having the GSM 900A module and these are all the circuits that we built right now that is two push buttons connected to digital pin 6 and 7 of Arduino Uno and this is the mobile phone to which I am just going to make the call and now let us press the push button which is connected to digital pin 6 for making the call for making the call to this mobile phone so i'm just pressing this button so i'm just pressing this button for making the call to this for dialing to this mobile phone you can see the call has been made and the mobile phone is ringing and for terminating the call i am just going to press the push button which is connected to digital pin 7 of arduino uno so i am just pressing the call termination push button you can see the call has been terminated so our program is working fine when I press this push button which is connected to digital pin 6 of Arduino Uno, the Arduino Uno is dialing using the SIM 900A module to this mobile phone and when I press on this push button which is connected to digital pin 7, the call is being terminated. So this is the output which I got in the hardware. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.